Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Once again, friends, I'm starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a ton of categories up top and then also beginner lessons in the middle. And then finally, friends, do not forget down at the bottom is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach out almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. We're out here of course because one of my users Brian suggested an awesome pyramid friends I've got a technique let me show you how to make it step one of course is to visit Tinkercad I always choose sign in with Google I'm gonna click up here and name it we're gonna call this pyramid and I'm gonna put my initials after it friends Brian wanted a pyramid that was cut out. It's super easy to grab this pyramid and bring it in, but that is not the version he wanted. Let me show you how to get a cool version. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna stretch it, and then I'm gonna type the number 50 and press enter. If we check that corner, that makes the height 50. It also makes each side 50. We are gonna bring out this triangle right here. I am going to stretch it, and instead of 50, I'm gonna type 40, so I'm taking away 10. Now I do need to adjust the height. Notice the height was still at 20. We can take it to any number and I'm gonna type 40 as well. I wanna make this longer than the shape and I wanna make it a hole. I'm gonna do Control D and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Friends, if you hold Shift and rotate, it goes 45 degrees at a time. It is awesome. At this point, friends, we're going to grab the entire design, do a line. I'm going to make the yellow one the boss. I'm going to look at it from a corner, and I want the middle of these three. I want the middle of these three. And then, friends, I want the middle up and down. When we hit group, you have instantly got an amazing design. Now, if you want your measurements different, we'll watch this. I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to move it across. Let's ungroup, and we're going to use a cool command called Alt-Shift. I'm going to shrink this height, and instead of 40, I'm going to type 30. If you make a mistake, just do Control-Z. So once again, Alt-Shift, and type 30. I got lucky and hit it. Once again, I'm going to click on the other one. I can look at it from a corner, so I'm sure that I've got it. And I'm going to do Alt-Shift again drag down a little bit let's see if we can hit that exact size I missed but because I held down alt and shift I can type it in notice this does cut all the way out if not I'd have to stretch them but bingo we can select that entire chunk and group it to make another version of that amazing triangle you can have fun make these however you want you can also adjust them watch this if I click on this and do control down one two three four and then I raise this up, say two or three. I'm going to do down one, two, three, four. And I'm going to raise it up to the same height. There's that 34. When I click outside, it modifies to make another version. You can have fun, adjust these as you try and make the ultimate pyramid. Also, I'm going to remind you quickly, if you want cooler colors, you can come out here and experiment with the custom colors to even try and make it look like it's gold. How cool is that? Friends, when you're done, if you want to share your design with the world, don't forget it is so easy. Click back to your dashboard, click on your design, click on its design properties. You can give it a better name if you want. In the description, obviously, I'm going to have a tutorial. Do make sure you tag it. Remember, if you would like me to see what you made, you may tag it with HLMT23. I try and search that every day to see the new designs and give them reactions. Then also make sure you make it public. And because I include tutorials, I always choose no derivatives so that way you can watch the tutorial 
and gain some skills. Friends, I want to quickly send a bit of thanks out to Brian. Thank you so much for the awesome suggestion, and I hope you have fun making custom pyramids. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.